I am going to read you a book about the value of learning. It's the story of Marie Curie. We had a story before about believing in yourself, Louis Pasteur. Marie Curie was another scientist. Let's look at her life. The value of learning, the story of Marie Curie. Once upon a time, in the city of Warsaw, in a faraway country called Poland, there lived a little girl named Maria. In Polish, Maria means Mary. Maria was very much like other little girls. In the evenings, she and her mother, brother, and sisters liked to sit around the fire and listen while their mother or their father read stories to them. Maria liked the stories, but what she really wanted to do was to learn to read by herself. Are you learning to read? Maybe you already can. You're only four, Maria, her parents told her. That's much too young to worry about reading. But Maria's sister, Branya, who was three years older, had wonderful cardboard cutouts of the letters of the alphabet. She used them to make words, and sometimes she made words especially for Maria. T-R-E-E. -E. That's tree, Maria would cry, just like the tree we're sitting under. You learn so quickly, Branya would say. Do I, said Maria? I'm glad. It's fun to learn. Of course, Branya could teach Maria simple words like tree and cat and mat, but she was only seven herself, and sometimes she had trouble with longer words. One evening, when she was reading for her father and Maria, Branya had so much trouble with the words that she wanted to stop. Don't worry, Branya, said her father. Take your time, read slowly, and the words will come. Maria was bright and curious. She was also very impatient. She grabbed Branya's book and began to read. Maria, I can't believe it, cried Branya. Did I teach you to do that? With those simple cardboard cutouts? Maria laughed. I guess you must have, she said. Isn't this fun? Now I can read by myself. Maria read from that day on and she learned many things from books. She also learned by paying attention to the world around her and by asking lots of questions. Maria's father was a professor of science, and one day Maria stood on a chair in his laboratory and opened a cabinet. There were all sorts of bottles and jars inside the cabinet. What are those, Maria asked. They're tools that scientists use when they work, said her father. What kind of work do scientists do, asked Maria. They find out about things, said her father. Maria laughed. I love to find out about things, she said. Maybe one day I can become a scientist, too. One day, when Maria was alone in the laboratory, she thought she heard a little voice call, Hi there, Maria. Maria looked up and saw a little test tube standing on the cabinet shelf. My name is Fizz, said the test tube, and I'd like to talk with you. And with that, the test tube hopped down and landed beside Maria. Of course, Maria knew that the test tubes don't come to life, but she decided to pretend that Fizz was real. She knew that if she talked with Fizz, she would really be talking with herself. Just the same, she thought it would be fun to have a make-believe friend who was a test tube. I noticed that you like it here in the laboratory, Maria, said Fizz. Perhaps one day you'll be a scientist and have a laboratory of your own. Wouldn't that be wonderful, said Maria, but so many people say that girls can't be scientists. If you learn enough, you can do almost anything you want to do, said Fizz. It doesn't matter whether you're a girl or a boy. Maria liked the things Fizz told her, so when she was old enough to go away to school, she took Fizz with her. Russia ruled Poland in those days, and the Russians insisted the Polish people learn Russian history. They ordered that all Poles should speak Russian, and they sent Russian soldiers to the schools to make sure the children did not study Polish history. How terrible, said Fizz. People should be able to learn the history of their own people. Now the teachers liked to outwit the Russians. So the little girls in Barry's school all had Polish history books. When it was time for a lesson in Polish history, they took out their books. One little girl watched at the window to warn the class if a Russian soldier was coming to the school. This is more like it, Fizz said happily. 
Maria was excited. It was fun to study Polish history. And it was fun to watch out for the Russian soldiers.